Hello everyone and welcome back to Taito Ecology and we are back here in the desert biodome. We are in Pyrite Canyon aka Fool's Gold Canyon and we are checking out our many many animals and trying to make sure that everything is going all right here. I see a few deer mice around but nothing like the gigantic populations we just added in and in fact I think one of those bobcats we just saw run by just had a fresh meal of um, little deer mice so that seems to be doing okay. Yep. Deer mice populations are getting a bit low. Oh no, our rattlesnakes have died and coyotes are starving. Oh no, a group of coyotes died? Jackrabbits died? How did our jackrabbits die? I wonder if they were overeaten. So multiple groups of coral snakes are starving. So it looks like Pyrite Canyon actually has the opposite problem that we had over in our grasslands biome where we are not getting enough mice in. So we might have to take care of that in just a moment. We'll look around and we'll make sure we can get lots of these scurrying tiny little rodents in to be a, a plentiful food base for many, many of our predators here. But first, I definitely want to check in on our tortoises because they're so cute. Hello, my little tortoise. Okay, so he's pretty hungry. And our desert tortoise population, our big goal is to try to keep some of the adults alive. And I'm really worried that we don't have any adults because we had four juveniles and two adults. And now I only seem to be able to find the ones that are... Oh, multiple groups just died. So multiple groups of deer mice just died. Which zone was that? In zone one... Okay, I'm going to have to check that out in just a second. But yeah, I'm really worried because I haven't been able to find the adults of our desert tortoises. And that means somebody, some cruel fiend, may be like play preying on our desert tortoises. And that's just, that's not the way things are going to go. Ooh, that's really cool. There we go. Talk about a cool image watching the coyote run by. You better not be eating my tortoises. Nobody gets to see the tortoises. They're my precious babies. All right, but let's go ahead and we'll start surveying the place and seeing how our biodome has done. And then just really quickly, I wanted to thank you guys because of the awesome response to our last video where we are going to start adding in an animal of your choice into our biodome so that you can have a big effect on what the biodomes are going to be like. And the way you can have one of your animals added in and they could be anything. So remember, you're helping to try to maintain the biodome. So if you pick something like the, the cougars, for instance, and you add in like a whole bunch of populations of cougars, that might cause an entire collapse. So I'm putting the future of our biodomes in your hands. So the way you can do it is you leave a comment with a fact about the desert animals or the desert plants. It doesn't have to be just the ones that you see here, but just a really cool fact that you think people would really enjoy. If you had to get somebody caring about the desert by telling them a cool fact, what would it be? Share that fact with us, and then I will use a random generator to pick somebody who shared facts at random, so that that way it's not me picking, it's as long as you leave a fact and it's accurate, then the random generator will pick you. And then I will look at your animal, and I will run the random generator, and it will pick a number between 1 and 10, and then we will add in that many groups of your animals, or your plants, or your mushrooms. So it's really whatever you guys want to add in, as long as you leave a cool fact behind, then it should be okay. Alright, let's add in some honeybees. For some reason, I'm just feeling honeybees but I would love doing that so we can look back on our biodomes like in a couple months and see how you guys have added in suggestions that have changed the world as we know it changed everything maybe some of you want to create a forest in not Kansas for instance and you just want to add in 10 beautiful trees you can't pick how many trees you can add in that's going to be the random generator but you can pick the uh, trees for instance all right let's get some jackrabbits in here because if coyotes are starving and there's plenty of grass it looks like there's tons and tons of grass absolutely everywhere this galetta grass has spread all over the place so i'm assuming the jackrabbits should be very very happy look at this nice we've got a tiny little bee population the grass hasn't quite spread out this far so maybe we'll get started with some agave maybe some desert spoons and we'll just see how quickly it's able to spread over here and we'll leave some of the grass just a couple patches maybe some joint fur down here by the the river maybe some big sagebrush and then we'll just kind of step back and see how long it's going to take for all of this to start spreading so i don't you can see the sample populations we left behind last time too it looks like the grass is the thing that spreads the fastest and we have some very happy pronghorn antelopes like leaping off into the distance uh, it doesn't look like our armadillos are suffering too much, but I think their population has probably been preyed on quite a bit by our bobcats. So who is... 
when I think of the coyotes, two coyotes, two bobcats, we really don't have a lot going on in here just yet, do we? So you know what? We're going to go jackrabbit crazy. We're going to add in so many jackrabbits all over the place. So jumping for jackrabbits, that's what this one's going to be all about. Why do you make little mouse noises, huh? You guys are jackrabbits, not mice. You guys are so adorable. There's so many of you. All right, so we're going to see what we can do with a bunch of jackrabbits. This should be interesting. And I wonder how quickly they reproduce. Um, so 83 days until reproduction. So that's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and we'll add in... Let's see. I put them down in kind of like an empty desert area. So I'm going to add in a whole bunch of grass. Because once the animals start eating the grass, I've noticed the grass disappears pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and add in a bunch of them. How many do they start with? They start with 12? What? That's so many. That's so many to start with. Hopefully I'll be able to keep them all alive now that I just plunked down so many. Well, and actually the point isn't keeping them alive, to be completely honest. The point is to be able to get the populations added in so that all of the animals can kind of keep each other in a bit of a balance. So we're going to add in some of the barrel cactuses up here because I think they're absolutely adorable and I 100% love them. Uh, like if, for instance, if you guys really wanted to see this place become more of a cactus garden, you could leave a comment and be like, I want to see the big giant cactus. So this nice guy who I still have trouble pronouncing, even Seguaro or something something like that. So many of you guys have tried to help me learn how to pronounce it. Thank you so much. I do have a little bit of a speaking quirk and it's very difficult for me to pronounce things in English sometimes. Uh, that's why I study so much better in Japanese because I, for some reason I speak Japanese more clearly than I do English. But yeah, just hang in there with me, you guys. I'm not trying to do it on purpose. It's just a very frustrating thing that sort of trips my tongue up now and then and it can be hard to recover from. <laughs> but serious drama aside, let's go ahead and put down some sweet acacia everywhere so we can try to plunk them around there we go this is actually looking pretty good I want to see a lot more grass though I really want the grass to just start spreading all over the place maybe some more joint furs too and that way we can start getting in the jackrabbits because I want to add in let's do something really like chaotic I'm going to add in hmm, 25 populations of jackrabbits what would happen if we added in that many jackrabbits? Would they eat everything to the ground? How long would it take before they would start reproducing? 25 is such a random number. Why why was I thinking? Probably because they cost 25? That would be that would be Let's add in 10. We're going to add in 10 more populations of jackrabbits because that would be 120 jackrabbits. So, we're going to do let's see 3. All right, I need to add in more food for them over here though. So, we are going to add in at least 10 populations of jackrabbits. We already we already had in some in the earlier part of the episode, but we're gonna add in more now. We already added in three since I decided 10, so we need to add in seven more. All right, so let's see what happens if we just throw in piles of jackrabbits, why not? All right, I definitely need some more bushes. So seven more jackrabbit populations. That should jump kick our, <laughs> no pun intended, that should definitely jump start our awesome, let's see, maybe some bushes over here too, our awesome desert because we've been very cautious about adding too many animals into the desert so far. And, all right. And also, thank you to you guys who have let me know that, yeah, you actually can have some birds, but that is for if you have the updated game, uh, like the premium pass, if you have it on an app, and I'm playing through the Steam, like, PC center, so that's why I don't have some of the newer stuff they're adding in, because this is for the PC, the way I'm playing it, but I'm pretty sure they'll add those in the future, so I'm pretty excited. All right, let's go ahead, buy more. There we are. And then let's get some planted over here. I know we were going to wait for the desert to kind of spread on its own. What might be interesting is now that we have maintained these three biodomes for so long, we might start opening up some new biodomes and we might start letting you guys control more and more of what goes in those biodomes and how we interact with them. All right, so there is five groups. All right, now I just need to add in five more. Yay, weekly income. And we should see how the reproducing is going for those bobcats because they should be having babies pretty soon. All right, grass, grass everywhere. Need to make sure that our rabbits have something to eat so they don't starve. We are kind of 
We are kind of putting them on the, the brink because I am not really helping them out with having enough food. So let's try putting in five populations over on the side that actually does have enough of the grass to support them. Because there's, I mean, look at all this. This is plenty to support like some jackrabbit populations. All right. And then two more. So we'll put one down there. Because I think this is all they need is just this open grass. So there we go. We just added in more than 10 populations of jackrabbits into the entire area. I should probably go ahead and make sure that there is plenty of mushrooms put down. The mushrooms, and there are desert mushrooms, by the way. Thank you so much. I think somebody on Twitter sent me pictures of mushrooms that were in the desert, and it was so cool. I think of mushrooms as something that show up in very lush areas. So seeing a bunch of mushrooms just like growing out of the sand was really amazing for me. I know I'm always like thinking about going mushroom hunting after it's rained, and that definitely didn't need the rain. They're just sitting there in the sand. All right, and why did my group of deer mice die? So that was in zone one, and I lost a group of deer mice. And I'm thinking it was the bobcats that did it. So, hmm. And the other thing is we keep losing all of our populations. I'll put down some moths, by the way, because I'm pretty sure we're going to need moths for all of this grass. I keep losing all of my populations of the kangaroo rats. So I wonder who's eating our kangaroo rats and what I need to do about it. Also, maybe I should put my desert tortoises somewhere safe. I don't want to lose my babies. Hang in there, little ones. Oh, why are you guys getting hungry? Did did somebody did somebody starve to death? Is that what's going on? Get away. Get away, coyote. Oh, wow. I have a lot of... What? I have... Oh, no. <gasps> There's babies! There's babies, but then when we got babies! And it's a dead tortoise! You, you coyote, you! You just ate my, my baby tortoise! I am so sad right now. Rude, rude. Oh my gosh, and I think I need to add in more plants for my tortoises. Now, I will admit, I will pamper the heck out of my tortoises because I love them. And they don't have a very large range. I wonder if they're going to, like, starve because they don't have enough of, of the tortoises. And what do they eat? What do I need to provide for them? It looks like they have kind of eaten the grass away from their section, if they ever had grass. So I'm going to put down a ton of grass because the tortoises are, like, the one thing I kind of want to baby. All right, we'll put some of you guys down. Oh, and there's grass just starting to disappear everywhere. I wonder what that's about. Do I have any mice down there? I'm always suspicious. I'm always going to blame the mice because I'm pretty nervous about them now. All right, so it looks like, yeah, my tortoises are eating. There's a lot of them now. How many do I have? <gasps> 11 juveniles. Oh my gosh. So my tortoises just had a baby boom. We just had a tortoise baby boom. Not sure what I think about that. Let's go ahead. I think they ate all of their beaver tail cactuses. I think that that's what they ate. So I guess I need to make like a cactus garden just for them. I kind of wish I could add rocks and things in as decorative pieces. Man, does it ever make my fingers itch to start playing Zoo Tycoon 2 again? I will admit that. All right, come on. More cactuses because I have all the babies, all these baby tortoises and they need fed. I want to feed them all the cactuses. I, I would even pick them up with my bare hands, like the cactuses, not even the tortoises. I would pick up like the cactuses and be like, here, here, take the prickly things. You can have them. All right, there we go. And then a group of mushrooms has low population. Are they eating the mushrooms? Is that something they're doing? Mm, that mushroom's doing okay. Are the jackrabbits eating the mushrooms? I swear, these are so much fun because it's such a little science experiment to set everything up, step back, and then see what chaos you have unleashed in the world. All right. So I think I've sprinkled in, hopefully, enough cactuses. What am I going to do? Are the tortoises... <gasps> That'd be so cute if the tortoise population just started branching off the way that a lot of the populations do when they have babies, is the babies will branch off from the adults and kind of have a new territory right next to them. I would love that. So we have a tortoise, a uh, very slow tortoise baby boom. And that makes me super happy. And it looks like there's so many. Hi, little guys. Were you all coming over here to eat? We're very slowly coming over to eat the grass. That's great. I'm really happy for you. Very happy to see you. Are you coming over for this mushroom? Is that where you're... Oh, he's so cute. Is that where you're... Oh, I think he's coming over to eat the little mushroom, you guys. Oh, look at him. Look at him. There's another one. I'm pretty sure. Is he consuming this mushroom? Oh, <gasps> look at him. 
He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, now he, he wore himself out. He wore himself out eating the mushroom. That was enough activity for the day, I think. All right, well, let's back up and check. So herbivores eat those. I don't see any evidence of the eating. It looks like they're coming for the joint furs. So the joint furs are something they really enjoy. Whoa, and they've eaten almost all their joint furs. So I guess they're not really touching the barrel cactus. So let me put down more joint furs then. Yes, I am going to fuss over my cact or my cactuses. <laughs> My cacti, my, oh, there they are. My tortoises that much. Um, how do I get more joint furs down here? Too many. I put too many other plants down and my, now I can't feed my tortoises. Help. Help. What have I done? I've made a terrible mistake. Oh no. Can I not stick these anywhere? It kind of sucks that you can't like try to remove something and put it in. All right, you guys, we've made our bed. We've made our bed and we just have to sleep with it. All right. Well, you guys take care. All right, anything else? Why do these, so zone three and zone four groups of mushrooms have low populations? Well, let's see, we're in zone two right now. Let's zip down, you guys, and we'll see what the jackrabbits are up to. I'm beginning to suspect they are eating mushrooms. All right, here's some sleeping jackrabbits. Can't really blame them for eating the mushrooms, but I didn't really give them much else out here. They're snoozing under the shade. Snoozy, snoozy, snoozy jackrabbits. All right. Oh, wow. Jackrabbits popping up from the water. All right. What about over here? Anybody over here? Nope. All right. These mushrooms may go on in peace. Wow. Isn't this pretty? That's the thing, you guys. I can't wait to see your suggestions on the things that we can start adding into our, our different biodomes because it's going to be so fun to turn around and know that you guys helped to pick some of those things. Hello, little jackrabbit. I think you have that coyote's attention, just so you know. But it's going to be so fun to turn around and see the things that you guys picked out and that you guys have suggested and that are going to be brought into the world and we can turn around and be like, yeah, we all did that together. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. All right, so let's go check on that bobcat population if I can find them again. Why are you guys so hungry? I guess I'll put down a few a few of the kangaroos. So, well, like, not the actual kangaroos, but, like, the kangaroo rats. So I'm going to put down a few populations of kangaroo rats. There should be plenty of food everywhere now. And so I'm just going to sprinkle kangaroo rats everywhere. How many? You get 12 at a time. It takes 126 days before they have babies. So hopefully that'll be enough to keep my coral snakes alive because I always thought it was weird how the kangaroo rats like van it was already they have a low population like as fast as I put them down everybody is eating them so maybe if I put just tons of them down everything will work out a little bit better. All right so there's that and I hope the tortoises <laughs> I hope they have enough to eat. Hey there look at them they're just crawling all over the place. Hunting for more food to eat because they love this joint fur and Siri was silly and put down like a whole bunch of cactuses instead, cacti, and they just, they aren't happy about that. All right. So anything else? No? All right. All right. Well, I think that's it. Oh, and look at all the cactus babies. Oh, they're spreading. They're spreading. Are the tortoises the only ones who are really going to eat them? That's actually a good question. So what eat the cactuses or the cacti, you guys? Is it just going to be the tortoises? <laughs> Have I have I populated an entire desert with an inedible plant for most of my creatures? Let me know. Let me know and then don't forget to leave your comment about a cool fact uh, that you really enjoy about desert plants or animals and pick one of the plants or animals that you can add into the game and make sure to mention that in your comment too. It doesn't have to be the plant or animal you leave the fact about. Just make sure you know. let me know which one you would want added in if you're comment gets picked from the random generator and then we will add that in next time so i'll see you guys then bye bye